Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today in this video we are talking about the fatty liver disease that affect many people nowadays. Specifically in this video we are discussing the food you should be avoid if you have a fatty liver disease. So before we start this video if you are new on this channel don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the notification bell for never miss an update. So let's get started. So first of all let me quickly define what is fatty liver. So fatty liver is a condition when a fat accumulate in your livers and this is also known as hepatic steatosis. In this condition, diet play a crucial role to managing a fatty liver. So let me talk about the food you should be avoid if you have this condition. So first is alcohol. Alcohol is a major contributor to fatty liver disease which can be responsible for the inflammation and damage to the liver cells which leading to the fat accumulation. Drinking a large amount of alcohol even for just a few days can induce the fat accumulation in the liver cells. This is called alcoholic fatty liver disease. And it is the first stage of alcohol related liver disease or you can say ARLD. So if you have fatty liver disease, the damage may be reversed if you avoid alcohol for a period of time, which could may be from months to years. Therefore, it is important to avoid alcohol or drink in moderation if you have fatty liver disease. Now, second one is added sugars. Food and beverages with added sugars provide excess amount of calories without any nutrition value. So they can contribute in extra weight gain, insulin resistance and fatty livers. Fructose is a common type of sugar and its overconsumption may lead to insulin resistance, oxidative stress, inflammation, elevated uric acid, increase in blood pressure, and increase in triglyceride concentration in liver and blood. Taking large amount of sugars in the form of fructose which overload the liver which leads to be non-alcoholic fatty liver disease that is any FLD. So this is a condition which can promote excessive fat buildup in the liver. The major source of fructose is a high fructose corn syrup which is used to sweeten soda, candy, cereals and moors. Therefore it's recommended to stay away from the sugary food if you have fatty liver disease. Now third is fried and salty food. Too much fried and salty food can increase the calorie intake which can lead to be development obesity which can be common cause of fatty liver disease. Extra sodium food intake can lead to be fluid retention and increase the liver damage. So limit your consumption of processed meat, canned soups, pre-packed meal and salty snacks. Therefore it's recommend that read food labels and choose the low sodium alternative and prepare meals at home use fresh ingredients, herbs and spices. Now next one is saturated and trans fats. These type of fats can increase the level of harmful cholesterol in the blood and promote the inflammation in the liver. So avoid or limit this type of food which are high in saturated fat such as fatty cut of meats, high fatty dairy product like a whole milk, cheese and butters, poultry with the skins and palm oil. Trans fat commonly found in fried foods, commercially baked goods like a cakes, cookies and pastries in snacks like a chips and crackers. So check the food labels before the use for partially hydrolyzed oils as an indicator for trans fats. Coconut oil also contains saturated fats and it's earlier thought to be harmful. But in recent studies show that these saturated fats are short chain and good for health. These saturated fats are rich in phytonutrient and polyphenols. And study in animal, these coconut oils have show the reverse activity in the fatty liver. Now next is processed and packaged foods. These food contain unhealthy and large amount of fats, added sugars, sodium and artificial additives which can be induced extra weight gain, insulin resistance and liver inflammations like processed meats, packaged snacks and frozen meats. These are the some items of foods to avoid or limits if you have fatty liver disease. So I hope this video is helpful for you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the notification bell. So thanks for watching this video.